Normally, veterans' voices is just about military service, the years of a person's life spent in sacrifice and sometimes struggle. For many veterans, what they saw in combat comes home with them. And for a few, those struggles with PTSD followed them to a ranch in Salineville, Ohio. We first introduced you to DLR Mustang Ranch and their healing mission about three years ago. With the help of some special animals, veterans have come and gone, but now they leave without their troubles. The horse is just, there's something about them. It's having me find myself again. They come to DLR Mustang Ranch a little bit lost, both the veterans and the wild Mustangs. It was hard to get me to talk much. Um, I stayed at home, uh, didn't really want anybody around. Uh, came here and they put me with Miss Ellie and something clicked. But they leave with a new life and in the Mustang's case, sometimes a new home. It's like the guys in the military, guys and the girls. You become a family. Um, we have friends and family on the outside of the military. Nothing can compare with the bond that two soldiers who've been through combat can share. For three years now, Dale and Renee Lackey have built DLR Mustang Ranch on the foundation of unbreakable bonds, the shared experience of military service, and the connection between man and Mustang. And sometimes the bond with your horse is stronger than the bond between husband and wife. The only bond stronger is the bond between man and God. It's created a place where veterans with PTSD or anyone struggling mentally can heal. And finally, the first group graduated from their six-week program. We've struggled to get to this point. It's been a hard uphill climb, and I'm just so proud of the veterans and the work that they've done. And I know it's not easy to give up six weeks of their life and come here, um, but it, it's just been amazing to watch. They've seen the change happening before their eyes. For the veterans, it's most notable in the Mustangs. What they don't realize is each moment of training is also helping them too. To me, the, the change was, you know, you could pet him while he eats, you could pet his nose, you can scratch his ears a little bit, but he just, the change was able to touch whole body from one minute where you couldn't touch him to that same afternoon, I took off his tag, I put a halter on him, ran him through some paces. That was the same day. But you won't find just veterans within the stalls. First responders are welcome, or anyone who struggles with anxiety. If you need help, the Mustangs are here. These animals, it doesn't matter how it is that your heart got damaged in whatever way that it was, they're going to do everything that they can to help bring you back. And he's, uh, he's, definitely, he's definitely helped me with that. It's never-ending story, we hope. The group at DLR Mustang Ranch says this first program is only the beginning. They'll continue to welcome veterans free of charge, and anyone who could benefit from the horses is welcome to contact them. It doesn't have to be for that six-week program. You can just come for a visit. By the way, Dave, who you just met in that video, has his own nonprofit that helps veterans in his home state of Alabama. You can learn more at WTRF.com.